NSFW, which fictional character was responsible for your sexual awakening? Catwoman from Batman Returns. To this day reason why I have leather, latex and boots fetish. Also anything tight and shiny, but those three in particular. Kate Beckinsale playing Celine in Underworld. Asterisk 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 the Pink Ranger. Correct answer. Kim B. Possible. My god. I just now realized why I have a thing for gingers. Gonna have to go with Shigo myself P. Katara when she came out in the Fire Nation fit. Eng's reaction to that perfectly encapsulated my reaction to Aragorn from Lord of the Rings. I'm still into bearded men. God, he's swat. I love him. Specifically, Aragorn dramatically bursting through double doors. Seven of nine. Big time. Tertiary adjunct of Uni Matrix 01. Misty from Pokemon. That episode on the beach. You know the one. Fox Mulder and Dana Scully. Late 90s X-Files was so fun to watch. Seeing them being flirty and touchy-feely in more recent photos still make me g I only recently threw away that cover of her licking him. Jesus those two. Honestly, Wonder Woman from Justice League Unlimited and Ariel from The Little Mermaid, Lola Bunny. Jessica Rabbit Zuko was the emo boy of my dreams. That's rough buddy. Poison Ivy Oof. I literally saw a lewd pic of her in one of my superhero magazines when I was a kid. Love beef ever since. Where's the beef lamb sauce? Dark Magician Girl That's right, growing up before internet I jerked it to a beef UGIO car. It's called being resourceful. Katara and Suki from Atla I was an Azula kinda guy myself, and Quora. Asami and Lin too. Asterisk 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 asterisk. No tie. I think I have a thing for doms. Probably Gwen from Total Drama. Probably also why I like Goth Girls lol. I checked in. That show is 13 years old now. What the actual asterisk asterisk. I used to watch that and play Halo 3. Is this what it's like to get older? Jareth the Goblin King. But of course. I used to fantasize about dancing with him during the masquerade ball. Haha. <laughs> I now realize that as a child I had a crush on Gadget Hackrench on Rescue Rangers. In terms of sexual feelings that I didn't understand. Uma Thurman is Poison Ivy. Not a furry, but it may be the source of my attraction to handy women is a sentence I never knew I'd read in my life, but goddamn am I so happy to have read Raven from the original Teen Titans. Those exposed thighs are everything. An amp. NBSP. Asterisk asterisk edit. Asterisk asterisk my highest rated comment is about my sexual attraction to I wonder what that says about me. Thanks for the gold. Raven and Starfire were too much for my 13-year-old heart to take. I was like 7 or 8 whole lots of feelings. Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, probably look. I'm a straight chick but I wouldn't kick Elvira out of my bed. Princess Leia. More specifically in my case, Slave Leia, Slave Leia. I had to scroll way too much to find that answer. Meg from Hercules Smiley Face, Danny Phantom. Same. I had a super creepy crush on him, Kim Possible, totally spies, me from Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire in those moody but somehow really cute scene girls and series, the moody scene girls really got me. The age that I am now makes it so it is really hard to find a moody scene girl that is still single. Wait, how is totally spies a fetish show? I loved it as a kid WTFD. It got like 99% of fetish for basically stuff like bondage, weight gain, furries, brainwashing, obedience, giants, skin suits, being dumb, all the different kinds of outfits, muscles, personality switch, Amazonian woman, clothes shrinking, force feed, while the creator says that there aren't fetish tropes in it, just look closely, most of the beef that happens in that show is too weird for it being explained by saying, but it is, a kids show, edit, sorry for ruining a childhood series, is that where my BDSM appreciation started, could have influenced you, Deanna Troy, Star Trek TNG came out right after my 9th birthday, season 2 I was 10 felt the start of those stirrings and there she was every week in that catsuit, Lee Shang from Mulan. For real do you even have to ask us girls it's always gonna be Shang. I hear there's no Shang in the new live action movie, not even sure I want to see it anymore, Captain Jack Harkness.
Oh my. David Tennant. GTA strippers when I was like 9. I used to catch my oldest in the club in GTA 5 all the time. He doesn't know I've played a beef ton of GTA since the Vice City days and I know it's not part of the mission. Legit his excuse every time last time it happened I asked him that's weird why isn't there a yellow line on her oof. Yeah, kids today can't get away with that anymore since their parents know how the HUD works, haha. <laughs> and save points versus autosave for that matter. Sailor Moon was my boner MVP, those transformation scenes were lit back in the 90s. Gotta get in tune with Sailor Moon cause that cartoon has got the boom anime babes that make me think the wrong thing. Pad me and Attic of the clones are Hermione and Harry Potter. I'm seconding AOTC Padme with either the Choker on Naboo or the exposed mid-Geonosis Padme. Always Geonosis Padme. Found my people. Annabeth from the Percy Jackson series. She's probably what got me into blondes. If you haven't already watched that scene in True Detective, it's Alexandra Daddario, the actress for Annabeth. The culprit was Zero Suit Samus. I'm looking through every comment hoping to see Shriek somewhere, on Solo, hands down. Seven-year-old me was like hello. Jessica Rabbit, Android 18 or Balma from DBZ. I watched so much of that as a kid and they just did something to me. Android 18 got me too. Where TF is Tylee in this thread? Moses in the Prince of Egypt. Ramses wasn't too shabby either. The Little Mermaid. I was six. I suddenly realized I wanted to see what was behind those clamshells. And boom, baby chubby I didn't even understand. Robin Hood from Disney's Robin Hood. Yes. And now as a grown woman I had weird feelings for Nick from Zootopia. Okay but don't let that distract you from the fact he committed tax fraud. Danny Phantom. But specifically when he was the ghost. The teenage boy can GTFO. Hermione Granger. Gadget Hackerange. I came here to say this, the whole nerdy engineer thing still kills me. Kaylee from Firefly is my crypt. Lola Bunny in Space Jam. Loki in the Avengers. I watched that movie in theaters two nights in a row just to stare at that man. Now this answer makes me feel old. I mean, it's really good answer, but asterisk 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 Dr. Frankenverter from Rocky Horror. The moment he drops his cloak in sweet transvestite was a game changer. Princess Jasmine. Xena Warrior Princess Ripley from Alien and Princess Minoke. I never really liked Xena. I had a thing for Gabrielle though. Daisy Duke. The original Daisy Duke. Catherine Bach. Wednesday Adams in It's Okay Creepos. Christina Ritchie is a little bit older than me. I really ain't gonna lie. Lara Croft. The image that comes to mind is Lorraine McFly from Back to the Future. She hit all the marks, cute as asterisk 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 asterisk, that enchantment under the s-